Hello, what's up? Bonjour. Uh, today we're going to talk about a uh, another camera. This is the Fujifilm GA645. I. This is the I version. As you can see right here. Uh, so, I think this is one of the best 645 format camera out there. I mean, it's the best in terms of everything. Let me just take this off. So, here you can see it's 645 format and you can see how compact it is. It's just like a huge point and shoot. And it is a point and shoot. This is the only, I think it's the only, for me, the most feature packed 645 point and shoot camera in the world. I mean, there's no other cameras like this. Shoot 645, it's just, it's just like a dumb, dummy camera point and shoot that shoots 645 format. And let's go over the body. This got a Fujinon. It's a 60 millimeter f4. The lens, it's super ABC. You know those Fuji fan boys. You know those super ABC lenses are good. This is a 60 f4. So it's like a standard view, like a 35 millimeter, and uh, it's got auto focus. It's got a pop-up flash, which this is a professional camera, okay? It's got a pop-up flash, but I find it really, really useful when it's low light and you want to get some flash photography. I mean, this is really useful. It's just built in, and it's TTL. You know, you don't have to meter, you don't have to do nothing. And it's also got a hot shoe for you. So you can use external flashes as well. And, uh, there's nothing much. I mean, just the I version, which I have right there, this is a, a more, a better version of the original, which is almost the same. It's got a few different thing, I guess. It's just the, uh, the focusing, auto focusing is a bit faster. And then it's got a second shutter button at the front with this. So you're holding like this, you can shoot like that. If you're holding horizontally, not horizontally. This is really weird because you can see, can it focus inside? As you can see, the viewfinder is horizontal. It's in portrait orientation by default. So that means this is a perfect portrait camera because when you are shooting it, it's always horizontal. If you want to shoot landscape, it's like your phone. You got you to gotta hold it like this to shoot landscape. And then, so that's what it comes in, the, the, the second shutter button. It's just, like you can hold it like this. You can click like that. Instead of like this or like that. So it's better to hold like that. So it's added a new shutter button in front. So I think that's basically the, the difference between the I version and then the normal version. Um, let's go on top. Let's just turn it on. When you turn it on, turn it on by twisting this dial. There's a lock. You gotta twist to P. And you can see the lens extends. Let's do that again. It's pretty loud. I mean. Okay, and then you can just focus. It's got a feedback. You can shoot. And it beeps to confirm. And you have 
your all your modes you need. I mean, you have a P mode, you have a aperture priority, and you have manual, and also your ISO selection. You can override the ISO by selecting this ISO, and then you can see the top screen. You can switch your ISO all the way down to all the way up to. 1250? I don't even know if you want to push or pill. And then the lowest is 64. 32. Ah, my wheel got some problem. The wheel is always a problem with this because it's not like. So. 25. I saw 25. Okay, 25. The lowest is 25. The, 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 the highest is like a 1,200 or something. But, I mean, that's the thing. You can basically accept every film, and it's got the Fuji, because you know it's a Fuji camera. It's got a, a auto loading system. So you just flip this, and it's like all the all other cameras. You have your spool, you click this two little knobby thing, and then you switch your things back to here. Like that, and then you lock it. And then when you're loading film, you just put it right here and then pull it over. Just tuck it in, and then the command dial, which acts as a spool. If you twist that, it will just roll the film for you. And then most of the films that has a uh, the spool, which we will write, but this one doesn't have. This is the Kodak. But all like all of the Fuji uh, films have the uh, auto loading system right written on here. It says auto loading system. So you just put it here on like using Fuji films and then you just put it and then twist it tight and then you can just close it. And then you will auto load. You don't have to find a start thing. It will just recognize the 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 film and then it will just load and then sometimes it will actually recognize the ISO of the film as well cuz it's got a barcode on the film so it can scan for ISO. But you have your manual ISO as well. And then this got date, data printing as well. As you can see right here. You have your data selection. You can print the date, the time, and then as well as your camera settings, like your aperture and shutter speed, on the side of the uh, each frame. So it's, you, you got a full data. So this, this is a really professional point and shoot, 645. And also you have your manual focus and autofocus selection. So by turning on, you hit this to make it to manual focus and you hold this button. There's the manual focus distance select. You hold it by twisting this. You can see the distance changes. 1.2 meter, 1.1. I think it's pretty weird, but it's an option. And you click this back to AF, and also exposure comp. Just hit it and twist to add on minus. And that's basically like all the functions of this six or five. I mean, I will throw some pictures on it.
and it's really it's a really really good camera and oh it uses a uh, I believe CR 123. This is the same as the flash. It's the 123. But it's got a screw thingy, so it's really hard to open it on the fly. But I wish it's just a, a like knob. But I have like okay nails so I guess it's okay so every time you just don't tight it like too tight and you can open it You're taking your time using your nails okay two two CR one two threes yes yeah, it's it's fairly easy to get this how many rows can take many rows I've used this for like like maybe ten rows already uh, and it's still okay, so I so guess it's way better than than the eyes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I don't know, but but this one lasts. The the battery really lasts. Oh shit! It destroys my nails. Uh, don't do that. We have just used to some speed. But yeah. I I just love to use this camera, and if you want to get into medium format and have all the functions and don't think about metering and stuff, focusing, this is your best choice. And this sells around like 800 bucks or nine. This one I got it back in China, really cheap, really really cheap. Because I think China sells the like film equipment like really cheap. I got this, I got this like 500 bucks, and it's the i version. So I guess it's a steal. Cause cause that guy is like that guy used it for his like school project. And in, in university, I mean like after it's not a it's not even a, a photographer or like don't want to get into like photography, but. So I guess they take this course and then just bought one of these cameras and then just want to get rid of it and then I just found it and then I have it and lucky you that's it that's good